I don't know if you can hear it, but it's raining outside again, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to make a pizza in my Omnia. I've also been busy this afternoon decanting my uh, pumpkin jam. So, spoiler alert, if you're on my Christmas list, pumpkin jam for you. I was going to have a shave today, but I have to plug my razor into the electric socket on the outside of the van. I haven't done that because if I plug the electric socket in, I could probably electrocute myself and have lots of fuzzy hair. Yeah, hope you got that one. If you want a successful pizza made in a motorhome without an oven, or a microwave, or a TV, you need, obviously, an Omnia. That's the first thing. Then you have to have some pre-made pizza dough thing. Hopefully this is the right one. It feels like an American one. You need some tomato paste, some tomatoes, a little bit of Gino's uh, condensed, whatever it is, tomato, some fancy cheese, mozzarella, salami, and a few slices of chorizo sausage. Give it a bit of a kick. And I tell you what, I'm going to kick that weather if it doesn't stop raining because I want to make my food outside. Let's get cooking. Just been in the cupboard and uh, I think I'm going to put some pepper on and uh, a few slices of onion. I haven't got chorizo chorizo, I've got chorizo sausage. So I'm going to give it a little fry first with some onions just to uh, get any excess fat off it or anything like that. <laughs> It's olives, and these olives are from our own trees in the Juro Valley. That's Portugal, by the way. So I finished off with my bit of chorizo sausage and the uh, caramelized kind of onions. And there's only one thing left to do, and that's to put a little bit more cheese on and then straight on the oven top.